This is six time IFBB Bikini Pro Champion, Brina Martinez, and I take ZMA5 to make sure that I get the zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6 needed to keep my immune system healthy and snack strong. Mike, right here. Okay. okay. Sebastian, congratulations, man. Uh, thank you, thank you. This was a guy who went six rounds with Gilberto Ramirez when he was a champion, 14 pounds heavier than this division. You took him out in two. Why was that, and what do you think that says about you tonight? Uh, well, like I was telling you guys in the in the press conference, we, we, were, we were ready for everybody. We were ready for Coda if he would have came in safe, and we were ready for this guy too. Just like we covered all our bases, and, and, and a win like this doesn't, doesn't surprise me because, we, like I said, we were prepared. You, you seemed comfortable all week. You're fighting in front of 16,000 people, Cowboy Stadium. Uh, why is that? Uh, I, I don't want to sound cocky, but I feel like uh, I, I meant for this. You know, uh, this this is something I worked so hard for. We've been we've been boxing since we were eight years old, and me and my father always shared this dream, and we're finally here. So, having uh, an audience like this, having an audience like this, it it just feels like normal. It's normal. You're rated in the top five now to fight for the WBA title. That's held the normal version by Lara, the the super version by Charlo. What do you think of those fights right now, Sebastian? Uh, I have to talk to my team about that, but uh, I'm more than happy to do it when the time comes. I, I know Jamel was ringside. Any any message to send to him since you know he's the champ of the division? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, no, no message right now. Uh, like I said, we got to talk to everybody first before we do something. Before we start calling out names, but uh, 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 hopefully, ho hopefully, holds it. In, when, when, hope we can meet up one day. Hey Sebastian, How you doing? Uh, congratulations uh, on a spectacular uh, win. Uh, let me ask you this, in terms of your progress, you personally, how, how do you feel? Do you feel that you, you've peaked, you're, you're about to peak, you're not even close to peaking? Like, well, where do you gauge your growth at, at this point? Uh, I don't think I'm peaking yet. I'm, I turned 23 this month. I still think I'm pretty young, so uh, we have plenty of room to grow. This is only my 17th fight, so. Uh, I plan to be in the sport for a long time, and I plan to be a, a champion, and we're not there yet, so we're definitely not at our peak yet. Given that, I know world title opportunities, at times you've you got to take them. It, it looks like time is on your side, though. Like you said, you're very young. You're not even close to peaking. Um, have you had the thought on your mind that maybe I should just take my time? It'll come. It'll come, no doubt. But let me just take my time a little bit and, and let me develop a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Um it's that, that I feel like uh, people ask me that question a lot, but it's not really my decision, at least in my team. Uh, I have to sit down and talk to my team about it, my promoter, my manager, uh, my trainer. We all have to talk about stuff like that before I can just um, say something by myself. You know, it's a, for me, this is a team sport. And you know, relatively, you know, you, you didn't have a lot of time in there tonight, uh, a lot of ring time. I would imagine you want to get right back in, in the ring. Definitely, definitely. Just like last, last fight, I want to go right back into it. I want to start off... Uh, uh, next year strong and uh, uh, have a lot of fights too again, hopefully, and uh, we'll see. Thank you. Yeah. Let's take a Zoom call now, please, and then over to you, Ali. All right, thanks. We'll take our first Zoom question from Fago Franklin. Fago, you can unmute your mic and ask your question. Fago, if you're muted, please unmute yourself. Okay, all right. We'll move on to Keenan Atchison. Keenan, you can ask your question. Sebastian, when you uh, when you parked with the uppercut in the first round, did you realize at that very moment that he couldn't take your power? Definitely, definitely. We saw him buckle a little bit, so um, I heard my father yell from the corner that that that. That uh, he was uh, um, already shooken, and I saw it too with my eyes. Um, and and from then on, I thought uh, um, I was like, ah, this guy can't take the power, so I'm just gonna walk right through him. All right, let's take our next question from Fago. If you can unmute yourself now, please ask your question. 
What did you learn about yourself in this fight today? Um, just to keep focus, you know. Uh, I I feel like with every fight we learn something, but this one was uh, I think too fast to 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 learn something. I think if if anything, I learned everything through camp. Um, and not to take that much of a long of a break and just keep working, working, working. Because this is my job and uh, I want to take it serious. All right, great. Thank you, Sebastian. Congrats on the win. Of course. So, Thank you. Sebastian, just a couple, a couple quick ones. I know we want to go see the main event. So first of all, what do you tell all your fans, people who love you? You have a huge following in Coachella. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being a fan. Uh, I plan to continue putting on shows for you guys. Uh, and. Um, I guess to see you guys at the top. <laughs> All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.